All right, both fighters in the cage. Let's go to Wayne now for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Live Oak, Texas Fight Club, is scheduled for three rounds of the Fury Amateur Series at a catch weight of 150 pounds. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing American Combative Systems. This mixed martial artist stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and he weighed in at 148.8 pounds. Fighting out of Sour Lake, Texas, he holds an amateur record of one win, no losses. Here is Tanner Marsh. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Representing Texas Third Coast MMA, this freestyle fighter stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and he weighed in officially at 146.4 pounds. Fighting out of Richmond, Texas, today he looks for his first win as an amateur. Here is Anthony Moore! Your referee in charge, Ryan Thompson. Referee Ryan Thompson going to be in charge of this match. We're underway. Marsh in the blue gloves. Moore with the red gloves. Marsh getting his hands going. Lands good right hand there. Leg kicks being exchanged now. Marsh lands another leg kick once more. Got a little body shot slipped in there from Moore. Marsh now looking for the takedown. Got the leg around, got his hands together. Does so straight into the full mount now. Tanner Marsh looking to get postured up and start landing some heavy shots here. Yeah, Tanner Marsh in control right now on the full mount. Anthony Moore looking to try to reverse the position. He's got an overhook on one arm. He needs to start framing. Try to get some sort of recovery coming here. Referee's not going to let too many of those shots go. Drew Ritajcek in the corner. And Tanner Marsh in there telling him, we got a minute and a half. Settle. Take your time. Good shot there, landed. For Tanner Marsh, looking to posture up and keep these heavy shots coming. Referee looks in momentarily just to, just to make sure fighter on bottom's okay, still intelligently defending himself. Taking some damage here on bottom, though, is more. He's able to return, reverse the position now. More on top now. See if he can posture up and inflict some damage of his own. Right hand slips through there for Anthony. We're under a minute now left in this first round. Anthony lets him up. They get to exchange it again. Little left hand lands. Good right hand lands for Moore. Left hand behind it. About 30 seconds to work with here in the first round. Marsh back to the kicks. One, two. Level change in for the takedown again is Marsh. So about 10 seconds left here. See if he can solidify it. He does so at the very end of the first round here. Could be big for him. Looks like we're going to make our way out of the first round here. Good solid action there for both of these gentlemen back and forth on the feet. Good grappling as well. Just an entertaining. See some of the replay here. There's that takedown as Tanner Marsh gets the trip. Ends up going to the full mount out of that takedown. Here's some of that posturing and punching that he's doing. Landing some of that damage. Yeah, you see some of those right hands getting their way through. Went for a little gift wrap here. Hands with a little pop, little right hand. More trying to 
defend himself, turn, get out of there. Eventually, they make their way back up to the feed, though, as there's a reversal. Moore ends up on top of, man, look at some of these heavy shots being landed here. Yeah. There's that reversal we were talking about. Moore makes his way back on top now. All right, looks like second round action just about to be ready to go here. All right, cage door locked. Both fighters ready. I mean, a little water clean up on the opposite side here. All right, cage door is now locked. Second round action is underway. Marsh looking to get some of these hands going. There's those inside leg kicks. Moore also getting the hands going. Good left hand there. Marsh decides to try to change his levels here. Look for the takedown again right against the cage, but Moore defends very well, turns and gets out. Marsh chipping away with little kicks here, little kicks there. As soon as he gets about a two-foot buffer against that fence, though, he shoots in for the takedown, knowing that there's nothing but the fence behind Moore. He's going to smash him into it and eventually get this takedown like he does here. We're going to work his way up into a half guard, solidifies that, see if he tries to advance again over to the full mount. Moore doing a good job trying to recover here, gets his knee shield involved. See if he can get that bottom leg out now and try to recover some sort of guard here. Looks to kick and separate. Maybe wants to get back to his feet. Tanner jumps into the close guard here with the punch. It glances the nose there of Moore as he falls into the close guard now. Hip bump sweep. Good clean. Fundamental sweep there for Anthony Moore. Now he finds himself in the full mount. Tanner Marsh looking to get the same type of reversal, but... Look to explode rather than use the hips. Yeah, there's a big hip bump. Just over a minute left here in round two. Posturing up again, looking to try to get some ground and pound going. See Marsh with long frame of his trying to get those legs involved. Reverse position out the back door. Great job. Now Tanner Marsh reversing the position, able to get back up on top now to defeat. But oh man, he does eat a big left hand for Moore. Another left hook lands again for Moore. Right hand behind it. 30 seconds left here in the first round. Anthony Moore getting some hands going. Firing left hooks repeatedly. Tanner Marsh finds himself on his back in the middle of the cage here. Trying to solidify a takedown at the end of the round, but Marsh ends up on his back fully mounted to end the second round here. Wow, Marsh looks to be losing some steam here, losing momentum. See what type of adjustments he can make here in between rounds. But Anthony Moore really starting to pour the momentum, pour on the pressure here toward the end of that second round, looking to maybe steal that round out. Here's some of the replay. Man, some good striking from both of these gentlemen going. Those left hands repeatedly getting going. There's that takedown from Tanner, able to get on top again. Both guys exchanging positions on top. Ground to pound here and there. Marsh getting a little bit more of the dominating position, more damage done in the mount. Moore able to get himself back to a mounted position as well, but really inflicting a lot of damage, as you can see with those left hooks. There's kind of a little failed shot. He spins out, and he ends up right here going for the takedown right at the end and gets mounted, fully mounted to end that second round. So not exactly what you want to see there to end a round. But nonetheless, one more round for us to go here. Anything could happen. It might be one and one. Who, who knows? I'm obviously on the commentary table. I'm not in the judges' or referees' seats. 
Don't have to make those decisions, but we've got a good fight on our hands. Third round action just about to go. Marsh, he's looking to get some of his hands going pretty quick. Ooh, goes for the head kick. Moore's able to get out of the way. Both these guys pretty content striking right now. Looks like a kickboxing match for the time being. How long, though, till Marsh decides to shoot for the takedown? Ooh, cup check. We'll uh, have a momentary break there. Yeah, that was a pretty good cup check. These things do happen sometimes when we are fighting, although you must be in control of your weapons. So you can see there more new as he threw it. It landed in an illegal area. Obviously an accident. I'm sure the referee will have a word with him just to let him know. Please be in control of your weapons there and where they land. We'll have some time here to try to recover. You hate to see it. Although I'm sure just as any fighter would probably agree, I'll probably take a cup check over an eye poke. Get you a good cup. You don't need the whole five minutes. He's had a minute now. Referee's going to have a word with him, check and see if he's okay, see if he's able to continue here, but... Looks like my man Tanner Marsh in a little bit of pain there. Maybe trying to catch his breath. See the lips there. He says, let's go. See if you can use that as a little bit of fuel. Get him a little bit more uh, amped up here to go and finish this fight out. Not that he needs it. You can see more apologetic. Didn't mean to do it. So fight's back on. Good left hand lands. Right hand slips through for Marsh. Ooh, good attempt. It was a great thought process there from Marsh, but more hip to it. Evades that knee strike. Good little jab pops the head back of Marsh there. More looking to close the distance. Jab gets through there for Marsh as well. Fighters exchange jabs. Left hook lands again there for Moore. Listening to his coach very well. Throws the cross hook, uppercut. Little clinch position. Gets the underhook and just kind of whips Marsh down. Top side control now for Anthony Moore. Got just over a minute here to work with. We'll see what he chooses to do. Is he going to try to mount? Yeah, once more looking for the mount position. Gets the foot through. Got to be mindful of those long legs there of Marsh. He was able to sneak out the back door in the previous round. Looks like Moore's a little bit hip to it this time. Keeps the chest low. Looking to posture a little bit and potentially get some damage inflicted here. There's some strikes being landed now. A couple short right hands sneaking in there. Tanner really trying to get his legs involved. Got to be careful he doesn't get one of his arms trapped here, but gets the leg across. Moore does a great job defending it. Doesn't wait with the frame as well. Marsh staying real sticky here. Moore looking to place some shots here. Looks like we're coming in. Yeah, there's 10-second clapper coming. Marsh getting those legs involved once more. It looks like we're going to go to the judges' scorecard once more. Always love to see the uh, embrace between combatants here inside the Fury Cage.
Good hard fought bout by both of these gentlemen. Check some replays here. Some good back and forth. There's that leg kick that narrowly missed, followed with a left hand by Moore. Left hand was probably the most powerful shot we've seen throughout the fight there. Some good right hands landed as well. There's that jab that popped Tanner's head back there. Good left hook. Some good exchanging, some good battling here by both of these young amateurs looking to add to their records. Got to thank the grappling, some of that mount work, ground to pound work there in that third round. Could be enough to get the uh, the edge. We've already seen a split decision so far here this afternoon, so you never know what's in store when it goes to the judges' scorecards. Having a little bit of a deliberation now. Looks like Wayne's got what he needs. He's making his way back into the cage now. He'll be delivering our official decision momentarily as both these fighters in there have a little chit-chat with their coaches about what just transpired. Looks like we're ready to make it official now. We'll go ahead, turn it over to Wayne, see what he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scorecards for your decision. Brought to you by Live Oak, Texas Vodka. All three judges score the fight 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Anthony Moore. Big congratulations there to Anthony Moore, picking up his first victory here inside the Fury Cage. Getting a unanimous decision there.